Welcome to SQL reporting service. This is video number 57 and in this video I have actually left one topic long back uh, which was linking reports like uh, you will be passing a parameter from one report to another report so you'll be traveling it will be like uh, drilling of the reports you'll be going from like parent to child and you're seeing the results example uh, as you can see I have a very simple uh, store procedure I'm sorry not store procedure I have a very simple data query over here okay so you can see what I'm doing is I'm making a join on four tables let me maximize so you can see much better okay so this is what I'm doing there are basically four tables and they got joins I'm selecting few columns and I'm displaying some data right so when I run this let me preview that and it is asking me choose the product which fits you good so I'm gonna choose Alice Martin and I'm gonna hit the preview okay so you can see there are like a lot of products okay now I'll uncheck this guy and I'll choose an IS setup and let's preview that and once you preview that you can see the products again right so this is pretty good but I want to automate this thing like you know I want some sort of a functionality but I don't want to pass the parameter you know like I'm choosing a parameter here I need to check the box then I need to go view report I want to be a bit lazy I want to be much comfortable so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a report okay once and I'm gonna give uh, you guys a link a simple link once you click on that link you will simply navigate it back to this report okay so uh, let's check that out okay and uh, the important thing about this report is I'm sorry I forgot to mention that part uh, you can always go back uh, and you can check out like how this was done I have done the videos on video on this one how you can make this report as config I mean as a parameterized so as you can see over here uh, we are taking the parameters as product ID so I need to do something in here which will uh, you know pass the parameter back to this report and automates the whole thing right so let's do that so uh, I'll open the data set over here I'll open uh, the data source in here and I will look at the query of this data set and this is a very simple query where I'm just querying through the products and I'm just selecting everything okay basically all I need is a product ID and product name in here in order to make this work next thing is I'll choose our favorite tool which is table okay now I'll go back to report data tab I'll drag I don't need to drag a product uh, this but I can drag product name okay if you want to, to show some additional info that's good it's your choice but this is it okay so okay and let me get more space let me get more space let me apply some stupid color to this guy background color I'm pretty bad at the colors so don't be you know okay now let's preview this now once we preview that we can see a lot of things we have a lot of products in here right so this is pretty good okay now I am going to give you a functionality that when you click you know on this product you will navigate back you know to this report and you'll get uh, something like this okay but it will be filled by default for you okay so what are we going to do is we're going to back to design mode then we're going to choose this and then we're gonna do the right click then we're gonna say text box properties and there are like a lot of options in here right but I'm very much interested in action because we have seen a lot of these but we have never talked about action so now I have a choice okay that I can go to report or I can go to URL but in this video what I want to do is I want to move from this report to another report to see the data so I'll say I want to go to the report and I'm then gonna pass uh, the report and as you can see the name of my report is parameter report 1 okay so I need to choose a parameter report 1 okay then uh, add a parameter okay and Visual Studio is a very smart guy he knows the above report takes a parameter as product ID 
now this product ID this product ID is required for this report okay but the value we have in our hand which comes from our data set right so I'm gonna say product ID and product ID where you can find us I'll show you so don't get confused in here the value which I passed as a product ID in here so when you're going to click on this basically you're passing this product ID to this report and it gets filled your data right so let's see that in action let's preview that and we are previewing right now you don't see anything but once you hover over it you'll see it's like give it telling you to click me and once you click it you go back to you know the parameter one rep I mean parameter report one and you can see the product chai as by default selected for you and the data is displayed now over here there's an option uh, you know a back button is here if you can see I can use that and I can go back to my original report and I can choose an IS setup and I can view the records what's going on in there right so this is the way I can move back and forth into the report so I'll repeat once again what I did is like you know I have chosen the box I've selected the box I've chosen the text box properties then what I did is I chose the action I said okay I want to go to report but which report I want to go to is I have mentioned and the SQL reporting service is a very smart guy SQL reporting service knows that this guy needs this parameter so now the value is our end is our at our end so I'm providing a value from here you know the data set so basically what's happening is you know uh, when I am actually loading this product name behind the scene when you click on it it triggers the ID of product you know and it pushes the value in here which I'm selecting over here manually okay as chai and then I'm saying view products but in that case it pushes automatically for you so you don't need to do anything right so I hope uh, you like this video and this was uh, the end of the SSRS complete SSRS if you guys have any requests or if you have any doubts or maybe some suggestion I'll try to make the videos so let me know, know your thoughts on this and if this video helps you in some way then please share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this good night and take care